morning. It is Monday, as we all know. Um, so, outfit of the day. This torrid hooded sweatshirt. Um, and then I have a denim shirt on underneath. I have on some torrid jeggings. I have on my Uggs. Going for warmth and comfort today, guys, because this is what it looks like outside. So, yeah. This is today's outfit. I do have on these gold feather earrings from, it's a shop in Chicago somewhere called the Nomadic Ant. Darwin got these for me when he went on his work trip. So yeah, that's my outfit. Um, my makeup of the day is the Pat McGrath Mothership Subversive Livy and Rose Eye Palette. I'll turn the camera around and show you in just a second, but here's like a close-up look of it. So let me see if I can open this up and show you what I used. It's kind of hard one-handed. Come on. There we go. Okay, I got the film out of there with the names on it. It was stuck in there. Okay, so I used this shade and this shade. I used, I did a halo eye. So I used this in my inner third and outer third and in through the crease. And then I kept this one on the lid and the inner third and outer third to deepen it up. I used this shade here, right here on the lid in the center. I use this on my lower lash line and then I use this in my inner corner. So almost all those shades there. Pretty proud of that. This is what was stuck. I couldn't get it out. But I think it's really pretty and I've been wanting to use this and play with color more. So that's what we're working with today everybody. Have a great Monday. Good morning guys. So I'm sitting here, so I'm gonna show you my makeup first, but I'm wearing this palette from ColourPop. I just got it in the mail yesterday, and it's the Through My Eyes palette. Um, clearly, I'm wearing the emerald shade on my lid. Here, hold on a sec. That's a great view right there. But let me just show you what it looks like. So I have on this, this one in my outer corner, this on my lid, this emerald shade on my lid. I have this one and this one in my crease as well as this one in my crease. And then I tapped a little bit of this one on the center of my lid. So I actually followed a Raw Beauty Christie look for this look. Cause that's where I saw her do it and or that's who I saw do this look and it's so pretty that's why I bought the palette actually so okay time to show you the outfit I don't have any shoes on yet because I don't know which ones to wear but here it is outfit of the day is this top from the Funky Zebras. It's like a really dark emeraldy green. And then I just put this scarf on over it for warmth. I don't know if it all looks good together. I don't know. I feel like it kind of matches my eye look <laughs> though. So, and I think I'm just going to throw on these boots here. So, of course, it's not as easy as it was here. Hold on. Okay. Boots are on now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. 
we're going with it. I don't really have on any jewelry other than my rings. That's okay though. We're just going with it today. There we go. A little bit lighter. I went too far. Okay guys, I'll, I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I gotta be honest with you, I'm loving this eyeshadow look today. I used the uh, ColourPop times Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. I've really been all about ColourPop lately. Um, surely you guys have seen this palette. I'm gonna try and take it out of the box and just show you the inside so you can see what I did without dropping it on the floor. So, it is a pretty palette with the rose gold and the cream. And then inside, here it is. So I used this in my crease, this in my crease, uh, this on my lid. Oh, I used this in my crease too. And then this one a little bit on the inner corner of my lid. And I used this on my lower lash line. It's a really pretty palette. Um, I do have some dips in it, but I need to give it some more love. So yeah, that is why I pulled that palette out today. Okay. Oh, you can just see my laundry basket there. Oh, I'm just taking you in to show you my outfit of the day, which is, this top is from Maurice's. It's one top, this is just like sewed at the bottom. It's kind of like blousey material. I love that kind of like casual dressy look. And then you can see the drawstrings up here and it goes up around my neck, which I really like. Uh, and then I just have on some really distressed jeans from Torrid and my Torrid boots. These have been so loved by me this season. I just, they're so comfortable. I like that they're like a neutral, but they're kind of an edgy neutral because they have that green tint to them. Um, so yeah. Let's see here. So there it is. Outfit of the day. Did I say the top was old for Maurice's? Like I've had it for a couple years. I can't even remember now. Oh my. Yeah, but it is. And I just pulled it out of my closet because I'm like, I need to wear more of my Maurice's tops. So that's what I'm doing. All right, guys. Have a good day. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I'm running late, so I'm gonna do this quick. Same makeup as yesterday. My outfit today, oh I love it. So, black toward jeggings, uh, my toward boots, and then this is technically an active wear top from Torrid, this jacket, but it's super soft and comfy. And then I have on this kind of stone brown t-shirt underneath. Um, okay, come on. There we go. And just a bunch of different jewelry. But that is the outfit of the day. Morning. It's Friday. We're supposed to get a big snowstorm. Not excited about it. But I am excited about my makeup and outfit, so <laughs> let me just show you. So this is a top from the Funky Zebras. I haven't worn it yet. I've had it since last year. <laughs> it's terrible that I haven't worn it yet. Um, I'm probably going to be cold. <laughs> but I needed something that kind of went with my makeup, and uh, I don't know. I just gave up trying, so... A stiletto jeans from, not stiletto, sky high <laughs> from Torrid. My boots from Torrid. I think you've seen my makeup, but here it is again. Let's get into better lighting. 
hopefully. This makeup, you guys, I'm so excited about this palette. I just got it in yesterday. It is the Blush Tribe Hasina 2 palette. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, it's a colorful palette. So here she is. But gosh, it's so, so pretty. This is from a UK indie brand. And then I also got the Paulina palette. She's a YouTuber from, I believe, Sweden. And she is amazing with color. So, but this is the one I, want, I wanted to dig my hands into first. So I did. And I used, let's see, I used... I used the shade in my crease, the shade on my outer third of my lid and a little bit into my crease. I used jade on my inner third of my eyelid. I used mina or mina on the center of my eyelid. And then I kind of topped that a little bit with this destiny shade. And then I put Monique in the inner corner and I ran re along the lower lash line. And this is the finished look. So, what do we think? It's bright, it's colorful, but I, I like it a lot. So, yeah, I'm excited to play more with both of these palettes because they got some good stuff going on at Blush Tribe. But anyway, I gotta get to the office. We did not get home last night until 11.30 from the wrestling meet. We had a wrestling meet out of town. And holy smokes, we were still in the gym at the school that we were at until after 10 p.m. That never happens. I don't know why it was so long last night. But, ugh, I was dragging this morning bad. <laughs> And I'm still like poking around. So I got to go to the office. So you guys have a great weekend. Uh, if you are in the Midwest by any chance, um, particularly in Iowa, stay safe. <laughs> We're supposed to get quite a bit of snow. Um, they're predicting in my area, I think six to eight inches, maybe. Who knows? I mean, honestly, with all like the postponing and moving stuff around that had to happen because of the incoming weather, maybe nothing will happen. Uh, but yeah, I am going to venture out to the grocery store later today, which you guys know if you're from a small town, when there's a snowstorm, it is. It's a decision to make, but anyway, wherever you are, have a great weekend. Hope you're enjoying this January and I'll see you next week. Bye.